Hello, my little plum babies. I hope you all are having a fantastic day and welcome to episode one of the Tiny Town Challenge. I know, I know, another new challenge. I have not given up on any of the other challenges we have going on the channel, but I get so tired of playing the same challenge over and over again. I get tired of only playing Decades and Not So Berry. Um, and I know we just started Family Tapestry, but I thought I'd throw in one more uh, since Seven Deadly Sins didn't really work out for us. I just wanted to throw in one more because I thought it would be nice if we had a little bit of a larger uh, pool of things to pick from uh, when I decided what I was going to play for the day. Because like I said, I get bored kind of playing the same thing over and over again. As much as I love Decades, I love Not So Berry, and I am really loving playing Family Tapestry, even though I've only done like one or two episodes. Um, I that challenge has already been so much fun and I can't wait to get further into that one as well. Um, but like I said, I really just wanted something a little different and I thought because I do not pride myself on being a builder, right? I'm not a great builder. It's just not something I'm very good at. I wanted to challenge myself to do something that had a build element um, so that I could maybe teach myself some things and maybe learn some things from you guys. So I've been watching Deligracy play her Tiny Town Challenge. I watched uh, James Turner play the Tiny Town Challenge, and both of them made it look like so much fun. And I decided I'm going to give this a go, and we're going to see how this plays out. Uh, but I have all of our Sims here on this little wheel of names, and we are going to pick a Sim each time uh, to play. We're going to go ahead and spin and see which sim we're going to start playing with first. And we got Kellen Andrews. Okay, so Kellen is blue. And Kellen, I have him on my gallery. All of the sims are uh, available on the gallery for you to download if you guys are interested. Um, they are available on the gallery, but they do all have custom content. So just keep that in mind. But this is Kellen Andrews, and he is going to be our first sim for our tiny town. I'm going to turn on free real estate. Okay, so I've got free real estate turned on so that we can move into our uh, tiny town lot. Deligracy is the one that created the tiny town challenge, and I have downloaded her tiny town lot from the gallery. So that is the lot that we are starting with. And then... Yeah, we're just going to see how this goes. So the blue sim is a painter. Their decor style is contemporary boho. And of course, their color is blue. So um, I don't really know what contemporary boho is. <laughs> so we're definitely going to have to do a little searching. All right. So before we even start thinking about trying to build a house, the first thing we have to do is find our little plot of land. So each sim has their own little plot of land uh, with some things to kind of help them get started. And this is our first little plot of land. This is a spot for our blue sim. So uh, it looks like there is a box here uh, with a name on it. That's Deligracy's Sims name. Um, we're going to change this, Kellen's name. Um, it looks like we have an easel here, and we've got some blue decoration items uh, maybe to sell to get us started. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to set our money to zero, and then we're going to go ahead and sell these items, and this should give us enough to start a painting. So that's going to be the first thing we're going to do. I'm just going to start with a small painting. And then the goal is to eventually uh, kind of get ourselves a house built on this little plot of land. We'll turn this into a residential rental. Yeah, we'll just kind of figure out what we want to do. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to Kind of clean up this area a little bit. We're going to get rid of some of this stuff that's just kind of laying around. I do want to keep these little canvases. I think that's really cute and it could be really cute decor for like a, a studio for him once we get his little house built. But it looks like Deli has started us off with a tent, a little poohoo bush, 
and a cooler for us to be able to grab uh, drinks and quick meals out of, which is great. But eventually, yes, of course he likes painting. Absolutely. Uh, but eventually we are going to hopefully, we're going to sell that to a collector. I knew we were going to lose a little bit of money there uh, in the beginning. Let's do a medium painting. I knew we were going to lose a little bit of money there in the beginning, but um, I mean, I figured it'll be fine. Um, how did we end up with $470? Did we get money for some of that stuff? I feel like that stuff was, I thought that stuff was debug and like you didn't get money for it. I'm going to reset our money. I'm going to give us like a hundred and forty three dollars um because i don't know how much money he technically should have but i did not want him to get money from kind of cleaning up the the house and stuff it looks like the welcome wagon is here so we are going to go over and say hello because we're gonna we're gonna need this whatever this is Pan de campo. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need that. Hello, Roberto. Well, let's maybe just kind of start making some friends. We'll uh, talk about our dreams a little bit, and we're going to uh, introduce ourselves to Juniper and Marissa here, just so that we can say that we know some people in town. Well, Juniper and Marissa seem to be having their own conversation and don't really want to talk to me, so that's rude. Um, so it looks like we also have uh, a little barbecue out here, which is nice. So we'll at least be able to cook some things. That will be good. Um, let's go ahead and sell that to a collector. That's not your tent. Stay out of there. Okay, we're going to go ahead and end the welcome wagon. Thanks everyone so much for coming, but I have a lot of work to do. So let's do a large classic painting this time and see if we can make um, some more money. I know that the why are you mad at me i was nothing but nice to you and i'm trying to paint you're good that's great i love that for you oh i need to tell you guys about kellen's traits oh my gosh oh he's already reached level three of the painting skill holy guac um okay so he is creative he's a glutton he's an art lover amuser and of course he does not want children right now um a little i'm like do i want to i'm contemplating if i want to buy that wall that you can like sell paintings on that's the thing i don't know what it's called <laughs> um hang on i'm looking i know it came with city living right here the street gallery okay four hundred dollars okay well that's not too bad that's fine i guess we'll put that in our box the good thing is he's a glutton so he can eat spoiled food so all right that sold for 175 we don't quite have enough for the selling table yet or not the selling table the the wall for the paintings yet okay so that sells for 185 oh he just started another painting on his own i don't know what he did oh he started a landscape painting well now we don't have enough money to buy the wall thing okay now we do and it will still have enough left to paint another painting afterwards which is the most important thing so, okay, here we go. Street gallery. I don't know. How are his needs looking? It looks like he needs to go potty. So let's, what is going on with my game right now? No, do not eat cheese and crackers. Why can't I use my poohoo bush? Okay, I don't know why I couldn't use that poohoo bush. So I sold it and bought a new one. Now he can use it for some reason. Stay out of that tent. It's not yours. <laughs> and then you can come grab this Fonda Campo. And then you can do a medium classic painting. Well, that left us with $3 after we, after we started this painting. So hopefully we'll do okay. We need to sell three paintings to collectors or art gallery and then complete three emotional paintings. Um, I do want to get this aspiration done because I think Earning some of the points and stuff from it will be really helpful. Let's go ahead and sell this so we can get the three paintings um, to an, a collector or art gallery done. We'll sell this one as well. And then the next couple we'll put on our wall thing that we got. Hey, that's worth 200 and something dollars. That's amazing. Okay, so he's still feeling pretty good. He's in a pretty good mood. So let's do a classic painting. We'll do another large classic painting. Why 
are you obsessed with that tent? Can you just, your color is blue. You have a tent right here. I don't know why he insists on walking over to the pink tent. Okay, can you go ahead and put this in your inventory? And we're going to just paint until we don't have any money to paint anymore. <laughs> I think this one is definitely going to be one of the easiest ones to make a lot of money from. Uh, because I just feel like painting is is definitely one of the easiest ways to make money in The Sims 4. And I want to open this again really quick. Let's have him grab a serving. I know they're spoiled, but he is not going to care. He's a glutton. So Okay, so now every time I, gra I try to grab a serving out of that box, um, it glitches. So I'm selling the box. Uh, let's tend table. Hello, tend table. Why do you keep trying to eat it? You're not even hungry. I can't stand him. He's driving me insane. He is driving me absolutely crazy. Okay, 10 table. Markup prices. We're only going to do 100% right now. And then we're going to start our yard sale. Because I don't want, I don't want it to be too easy, you know. I could mark it up by 300%, but I'm not going to. Judith Ward, the global superstar, is here looking at my paintings. Ooh, these are all going to sell for like over $200. That's going to be great. Yes, I sold a painting. $474. Heck yeah, dude. Miss Fang, I know you have money. Would you like to purchase one of my paintings? No? And it sold. Heck yeah. We have like $1,400 now. Okay, so here's the inspo picture I found as soon as it will come over here. But here's the inspo picture I found. I kind of like this and it looks like it would be decently easy to build. Um, so this is this is kind of what we're going for. So we're going to start trying to make this work. So the first thing I'm going to do is just make a square, honestly. We have a square. Let's move our tent over here. We're going to move our easel in here. And we are going to get rid of this fencing. And that'll give us a little extra money as well, which will be really nice. Okay, we're also going to move this and we're going to move this. I just want everything nice and out of the way. So let's do this. We have $300. Ooh, that's not a lot. Um, That's okay. Let's, let's do this. We'll get rid of this and this. We'll get rid of this and this and this. Oh, we did get money for those. Okay. Well, eh, I wasn't going to allow myself the money for that, but it's fine. Um, Now, do we have any boho doors is that a thing style boho all right let's see what kind of Ooh, i love this door this is so cute i just don't know i don't know if that's really what i'm looking for Ooh, this is nice maybe this i don't want like a i want it as like a front door though so maybe not that maybe this here we go this feels a little more like what i'm looking for fantastic that's what i want okay i'm gonna put this up a little bit and then we're gonna add can, can i add like um i just want like a like a platform where do i get the platforms at okay this is where i get the platforms perfect okay i want why does it do that why does it delete the door when you put in a platform i like this i think we're gonna go with that that leaves us $308 still. Oh, this is not good, friends. Um, we may just have to, we may just have to to paint and and call it what it is. Let's go to terrain tools here and let me see. I think I like this a little better than what we had before. We'll we'll continue to work with it. I don't know, so that we can at least afford a bed. We're going to need four to $500 at least to get a bed. We're already at painting level five, though, which is great. Okay, let's go ahead and sell that to a collector. It's going to give us $247. So at least we should have enough for a bed. So we got contemporary and then we got boho that we can choose from. Okay, so we've got a couple. I think we're going to go with this one for now. Oh, also, in case you guys weren't aware, my Reaper Rewards event um, glitched out on me somehow, and um, I have given up on trying to fix it. I'm not going to fix it. The series is not going to continue. I'm done with it. Um, the rest of the rewards aren't even worth going through 
the trouble to fix it. So just so you guys know, in case you were wondering where that series was, it's not coming back. Okay, we're going to sell that to a collector. What happened to... Did I sell my poohoo bush? Or is it in my inventory? It's not in my inventory. I sold it. Great. Can we use this one then? I Maybe that's cheating, but... I need to pee and I don't want to pee on myself. So what do you want? This is creepy. You're creepy. Leave me alone. I don't know who you are. And I don't know why you think I'm attractive, but I need you to not. We're feeling a little better now, and we've got some money, so let's try a large impressionalism painting. Let's see how we do with that. I don't know how much it's going to be worth, but... Um, and then we need to complete three emotional paintings. Okay, well, he's feeling inspired, so doing an emotional painting right now is probably not going to happen. How much is it for the creative visionary? 2000. Ugh, okay, we've still got we've still got a while to go before we can do that. What is going on? Stop it. All right, put this in your inventory. Let's do a pop art painting. We'll do a medium one. Oof. This is not great, honey, but it's all right. Go ahead. And let's put these paintings on here. We'll stock the table and then we'll tend the table and start the yard sale. We're still marked up at 100%, so we'll see how things go. All right, we have $899. So we need a toilet. We need a toilet. That's a must have necessity, gotta have it. So we're gonna get the cheap one. And then. I also want to grab a cheap shower. Why does it do that? I don't understand. Am I not using platforms correctly? <laughs> because I just want, I just, I want, I want it to be like, like you walk into the house and there's the, there's like a, a platform, you know? This is the third time I've had to buy this dang door. Okay. Do I have enough? To maybe put down some wood out here. I do. Do I have to pay for foundation stuff? I don't think I do. It would be nice if I didn't. I didn't. I didn't have to pay for it. Great. I don't know. Maybe we could sell our cooler because we're not really using it. I think we'll just sell that to a collector to get some fast money. We won't worry about selling it on the wall just yet because right now I just want to, there we go, 207. Okay, let's, let's do this. Let's have him take a, no, not a speedy shower. I want you to take a steamy shower because then we can do a flirty painting. I hate this. I hate this. I don't want him to be emotionally mindful. I'm cheating it away because I was tired of it. I, it takes, it makes them fine and I it makes it to where you you don't have any sort of like other emotion so when you're trying to do like emotional paintings like this it makes it near impossible okay so we did one emotional painting let's go ahead and sell that to a collector great you can eat that spoiled food and then I want you to put that in your inventory please and then we'll do a large pop art painting. I think what I would eventually like to do is I'd like to add a second story onto this house. I don't want it to be any wider, I don't think. Um, I think we're going to keep his house relatively small. But I, would, I do want to add a second story because I think down here we'll have the living room and kitchen area. Maybe like a small dining area. We may widen it just a little bit. Um out to the side a little bit, but I don't think we're going to widen it too much. And now that we actually have a kind of building on this lot, I'm, I have gone ahead and changed it to a residential rental. Okay. Put that in your inventory. I've also set this up to where he is a tenant now. I, why do you, why did you come over here and break literally all of this? Now when pink starts, she's going to have to repair all of this. All right, here we go. Let's start our yard sale. 
my game has decided to be super laggy all of a sudden, so I'm going to go ahead and save this <laughs> just in case. Hey, hey, two paintings sold. That one sold for like $700. Oh my goodness. <gasps> There's another one, $490. One painting left. Who's going to be the lucky one? Nancy Landgrab, will it be you? $646. All right. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Um, we're definitely going to have to have a trash can, so we're going to snag a trash can. Let's do, um, yeah, we'll just, yeah, we'll do this. We'll grab a trash can. Put that bad boy right there for right now. We also need to grab an outdoor trash can. So we'll grab this, put that right there. That leaves us with $61. And that's where we're going to have to stop because I need money to continue painting. So, um, yeah, I think we're going to call this episode quits here. Um, I'm going to have him go start a little small pop art painting. Can you please stay out of Pink's stuff? I really need to put a gate on these. Anyway, we are going to call this episode here. If you guys want to see more of this, please leave a like down below. It's the best way to let me know that you guys are enjoying the content. Leave a comment. Let me know if uh, you guys like Kellen. If you want to stick with Kellen um, until we finish his house and then move on to the next sim. Or if you guys want to move on to the next sim in the next episode, you guys will have to let me know. And uh, yeah, I will see you all next time. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye guys. Don't sit and tell me I'm pretty while you sip Jameson. Don't make me wanna stick around until the party ends. You've got a bad reputation, so what? I'm into it.